Hi, this is Kimberly. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. And today, we are going to have a beauty battle. So for those of you who have visited KimberlyGamble.com and are regulars on my website, thank you. But this video is going to be a beauty battle. So I used to write a lot of articles where I on my blog where I would basically compare two contested beauty products that everyone is kind of interested in and decide which one is better than the other. So today I'm going to do the same where I'm going to compare two mascaras and tell you which one is the best. So if you're interested in these mascaras, keep watching while I give you the details. So in this beauty battle, the two mascaras I'm going to be comparing are Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. As you can see, this is the tube right here. And then the other mascara I'm going to be comparing is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. So that is are these two mascaras. So I do have the waterproof version and the regular version. So, um, but I'm basically only going to be comparing one and I'll tell you why. So keep watching to find out which is the winner in this beauty battle. So the mascara that is kind of just going to get tossed and not be included is the waterproof version of this mascara. It is so horrible. It makes your eyelashes crunchy. It makes them fall out. It makes them really stiff and just not enjoyable to wear as a mascara in terms of experience so I'm not gonna count this one against the brand because in general I don't like waterproof mascara it's just that this was the last one at the store and I really wanted to try it but I should have waited and got the regular formula which I ended up going back and doing anyway because waterproof mascaras are horrible so this one we're not even gonna compare in the two okay so I'm gonna start off with the non-waterproof version and regular uh, vol voluminous lash paradise mascara in mystic black from L'Oreal so um, I really like this mascara in terms of drugstore mascaras I think it's really great the formula is starts off wet but it does dry to like a natural satin so your eyelashes do kind of have that little sheen of being like having makeup on them but they don't look wet um, it does dry like I would say like a natural matte and I really appreciate that because you do want your eyelashes to still stand out, but you don't want them to be super shiny and kind of like unreal looking. So um, it's definitely a great product. Um, I think I paid, I would say, $9.99 for it. So I bought it at Target. And um, I definitely think it's a great mascara. I just want to show you guys the brush. So the like I said, the formula is wet, but it dries matte. But the brush has so many bristles that um it really gives you a great experience of applying mascara so do i need to move it there we go boom so you can see all the different brushes they're all coated with product once you pull them out and that's one of the reasons why i really love this mascara so um definitely for ten dollars it's an excellent buy and there are a lot of things I love about it, but a few things, unfortunately, which make it not perfect. So, I'm going to start with the things that I love about this mascara. In terms of being from L'Oreal, I think L'Oreal makes the best drugstore mascaras, hands down. So, it's a really great product. Um, in terms of sensitive eyes contact, you don't have that flaking kind of uh, little black particles that at the end of the day fall all over your eyelashes that you get with some mascaras. Um, it doesn't get on your contacts and it's just a really great product in terms of just a quick mascara to use every day if you're looking for volume and length so that's a key thing for mascaras that I'm looking for because I do kind of have like short and a little bit sparse eyelashes so I'm looking for mascaras that are going to be able to fan them out after I curl them and then also give them that added length so that's the products really great for that this L'Oreal um, voluminous lash mascara the only downfall of this mascara is clumping so unfortunately I mean if you use the front of the mascara brush and you slowly go through each little bunch of lashes in your mascara I mean in your eyelash like combing them through slowly slowly not just doing it quickly you will experience less clumping but if you're one of these people that you're on the rush on the go you take it out brush 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 and you're ready to go you will have spider lashes like there's just no way around it you're, you're gonna have spider lashes and you're gonna end up either having to go through again to try to separate them 
or you're just going to be stuck like that and that's it. So this mascara does have a lot of clumping issues, which is really disappointing because I'm always looking for a great drugstore mascara. But um, besides the clumping issues, like I said, if you use a comb, a, a eyelash comb afterward, or if you just take your time and really go through each section, then you'll have less clumping. So um, that would be my only negative about this mascara. But again, this is a voluminous Lash Paradise, the newest mascara from L'Oreal. So it's really great, except for that little clumping part. So the mascara that the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is battling with is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now this mascara is the number one, according to Too Faced, prestige selling mascara. And for years I've heard people saying that this is the best mascara that was ever invented in the entire world. And I kind of didn't believe them, but I was like, all right, let me try it out. So as you can already see that the two products, so this is L'Oreal, this is the Too Faced, they already look very similar. So basically, uh, L'Oreal was trying to say this is going to be the Too Faced the drugstore, I guess. But um, let's go on to Too Faced. So what I really like about the packaging is that it's super weighty. Like most mascaras are kind of like lightweight and they won't stand up on their own. And they're easy to knock over on your makeup table. But this has a lot of solid weight to it. And it's definitely like you can feel how substantial it is. So I really like that. Um, in terms of the formula, it starts off wet and dries to like I would say a natural satin. Your eyelashes are so shiny but they look natural. And they, it adds lengthening and volume. So that's another reason why I love this mascara. And I just want to quickly show you guys the brush. That way you guys can see it. So again, the brush is like one of these brushes that, um, move that out the way. That has kind of like the, in the middle, it kind of cinches in. And on the beginning and the end, it's more full. So you can easily kind of get all of your lashes with that. Now, so with the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara, um, you don't really have any issues to worry about. It goes through easily through all your lashes. You don't have any clumping. You don't have any crunchiness. You don't have any flaky little black pieces of mascara falling on your face at the end of the day. And that's really what's important when it comes to a mascara. I mean, the point of mascara is you want your lashes to look longer and fuller and more. In my case, I like black mascara. So black as possible and when you have this mascara from Too Faced it gives you all of that and you don't have any worry when you pass the brush through there's no clumps uh, it kind of evenly distributes the product to all of your eyelashes which is a really great feature in the brush because it just makes it that much easier to apply so that is kind of my review for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So let's find out which one is the winner in the beauty battle. So now that I went over both L'Oreal's Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the winner of the beauty battle is Too Faced. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> clumping is a huge issue when it comes to mascara, so that's why the L'Oreal just couldn't get ahead of the Too Faced. I mean, I understand why so many people want buy it and why it's the number one mascara in prestige brands, because it easily separates your lashes, coated some of the product, and keeps them from clumping. And that's something that's really, really, really such a big issue with mascara. So to see that this is a product that can easily achieve that, you can use it quickly, it doesn't take a lot of babysitting or kind of finagling to make it look great, which is why I think so many people love it. So, out of the two mascaras, I would say spend the extra. I think this one came out to either $23 or $25. I will leave the information below in the box. But it's kind of worth it because your eyelashes are going to look amazing in the end. So, the winner of the beauty battle is definitely Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So, make sure you go and try it out. So thank you so much for watching my video on the beauty battle of the mascaras. Again, I really, really love mascaras in terms of just putting them on and having a quick look and you look really polished. Um, so if you have any uh, questions about mascara or you're looking for some more mac mascara recommendations, please leave a comment in the box below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and share this video and visit KimberlyGamble.com.